This episode is sponsored by the new 2017 Corolla. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Fiona Renee, and this is your Week in Fandom for November 11th, 2016. Now I just sling ringed in from seeing Marvel's excellent Doctor Strange, and while I've got some magic on my mind, I'm also excited for the other mystical mega franchise on its way next week with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now we don't need the eye of Agamotto to look forward to this one, so be sure to click on the link below and check out our completely unreliable guide to Newt Scamander and download our app for fans of Harry Potter to join our weekly discussion for a chance to win some fandom goodies. Now last week we told you Johnny Depp would be joining the cast on the next go around, and now we we know he'll be playing villain Gellert Grindelwald, which also opens the Dumbledore to a younger version of your favorite Hogwarts headmaster. That Fantastic Beast is set to explore through sequels releasing every two years. Every two years? What? Also last week we showed you Mass Effect Andromeda's new recruitment video, and this week we've got a new story trailer to shed a little more light on this interstellar spectacle. Now you'll play one of the Ryder twins as they step into the role of Pathfinder, embarking on an epic exploration across the reaches of space and doing battle with hostile alien species when the game releases in March next year. Now I know what makes you special. Now while you're out floating around in space, check out this badass new trailer from Luc Besson's Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. <laughs> Part Fifth Element, Part Guardians, and with a healthy dose of the old Han and Leia romance dynamic, this one's looking good. Starring Dane DeHaan mm, and Cara Delevingne ooh, as two time-traveling agents investigating a massive galactic empire. Now Valerian isn't releasing until July next year, so book your trip early. And since we're still spacing out, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is out now. And in a series first, critics are praising the innovative new space-faring single-player campaign while weighing in with the resounding ho-hum on the tried-and-true multiplayer. Maybe it's time for Call of Duty to mix it up a little, huh? Now while you mull that purchase over, here's something else to consider. This week marked the launch of Sony's new PlayStation console, but should you spend the 400 bucks to buy it? Don't worry guys, we got you covered. Let's weigh in the PS4 pros and cons. So we mentioned the $400 price tag, and surely that's worth it for gamers with the cash to invest in the most powerful console currently on the market. But what if you already have a PS4? Will the Pro make that much of a difference? Yes and no. Now it's true that the Pro supported games will look awesome on a brand new 4K TV with high dynamic range, but you'd be hard pressed to notice the difference if you're still working with a traditional 1080p HDTV. The console also supports 4K video streaming, but it does not support 4K Blu-ray, which seems like a pretty big omission to a lot of fans, especially considering Microsoft's Xbox One S already offers this feature. Bottom line, early adopters with a 4K friendly home entertainment setup and VR enthusiasts looking to get a jump on the game will be all over the pro. But if you're still living in a 1080 world, maybe take that $400 price tag and stick it in a 4K fund. That said, there's no denying that Sony's PlayStation 4 Pro is the most powerful home console out there. While we're talking power, a while back we got a Power Rangers trailer for the upcoming movie that was actually pretty sort of cool. But it was light on the Rangers' classic multicolored costumes. This week, we've got a few new glimpses of the suits themselves without a shred of spandex. Yay! But still with the weird little mouths. Well, color me excited all the same. So with that, it's morphin' time! So let's morph over to the weekend in fandom! <gasps> now today in theaters we have the arrival of Arrival, the little sci-fi movie that's being praised for its big ideas. Arrival stars Amy Adams as a language expert working with Jeremy Renner and Forrest Whitaker to make contact with an alien species. This puppy's currently sitting at 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, so go and check it out. And for the gamers out there, go check out Dishonored 2. Developer Bethesda is no stranger to creating lush, living worlds, and Dishonored takes you to a beautiful alternate history where the action is high-flying and every cannon fodder henchman has his own name, backstory, and moral alignment. So get out there and go kill them, the evil bastards! Or don't. The choice is yours because apparently you can finish the entire game without ending a single life. How often can a game offer that? Weird? 
Anyway, that's it for your week in fandom. As always, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at GetFandom. I'm Fiona Renee. See you later.